Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ineas Alea and welcome to my channel where you can learn everything about filmmaking and visual effects. In today's video I'll show you how I've created this outfit transformation to Iron Man that I made for the outfit challenge on TikTok. I've got a ton of amazing response for this effect and everyone wanted to know how it's done. A quick note, we actually launched our masterclass this week and the results were absolutely amazing. There were only 10 seats left and I wanted to give the ones that are serious and missed the launch during the week still the chance to join by clicking the link in the description. So that said, I'm only going to put it up for one more day. After that, the doors will be fully closed. So I hope to see you there. See you in the inside. So here I am explaining how I have set up this shot. It took me quite a while to create it, so that's why I'm going to do this kind of overview video. First of all, I've watched a tutorial that inspired me to create this video actually. I saw the shoe in the tutorial, realized I had a similar shoe, and what if I could transform it into Iron Man? How cool would that be? So definitely credits to this tutorial, I will link it in the description so you can go ahead and follow that if you want to recreate similar effects. So apparently you guys also really enjoy watching these 3D workflow videos, as I could see from the crazy bird playing video I've done a few weeks ago. You guys loved it, so thank you for that. But before we start today's video, have you heard of this awesome website, creatorgalaxy.com? Everything that you need that is content creation related, templates, presets, packs, transitions, everything you need in high quality, curated by industry professionals for super affordable prices and with the option to get a subscription with unlimited downloads to take your videos to the next level and stand out. Well, that's today's video sponsor and our website, creatorgalaxy.com. Go and check it out with the link in the description below. All right, so how did I start this shot? Well, obviously I first needed my footage. So I recorded this clip in my garden. Funny though, because my neighbor was working in his garden, he sees me taking my shoes and throwing it at the camera and acting like I can fly and things. He must think, what a weird guy. <laughs> so that's how my, my neighbors see me every single day, yeah. Like in my other video where I explained the text smash effect from Will Smith I was literally hitting the air making Bruce Lee noises Yeah, imagine living next to a guy like that. I mean, I would be scared of that to be honest Anyway, so I recorded this video clip and I shot it on a tripod. Then after I've done my act, I went out of the frame and I left my camera to capture a few more seconds so that I have an animated clean plate, which I can then use to remove myself or remove the shoe that I'm actually throwing and to replace it with the 3D shoe to take over. So in After Effects, I have a composition where I act as a video and then below that I would put the part that is actually the clean plate. So then I can remove parts from my top video and it will show my bottom video with the clean plate. So uh, that would mean it would remove the things on the top layer. Yep. So I'll go to the timing where I throw the shoe and just when I start throwing it, it increases in speed. So because of that throw, I'll mask out the shoe right there and it's like a perfect cut where I can put in the 3D shoe. And normally you wouldn't see the seam because it's going so fast and it's, it's looking all right like that. So just on that part, I will remove my shoe. So now it looks like I throw a shoe that gets invisible. That way I can replace this part with a 3D shoe. So the 3D shoe looks a lot like my own shoes. And yeah, it is a bit different, but that doesn't really matter because of the quick speed and obviously I could put more time and effort into making the shoe, but I just wanted to get a quick effect that looks great. So now we need to add the 3D shoe to our scene. So I just imported my video into Cinema 4D and imported it as a background material. That way I can see the animation. I'll add the shoe when it starts flying and I'll animate it towards the camera. Once I have that, I will need an Iron Man suit. So I searched online and came up with this suit. I'll add it to the description if you're interested. It's actually a really cool looking suit. I think it's a suit from the last generation as well. So here I imported my suit and I made it match my body size. So I rescaled a few of the elements and once I was done, I wanted to texture it. I'm using Octane Render Engine for Cinema 4D. This allowed me to create something like this and it renders super fast, so I'm a big fan. I really liked how my texturing came to be actually. I tried to look at reference and make the suit based on that. So once my model was fully textured, I exported it as a .fbx and then I went to mixamo.com. One of my favorite sites nowadays because I hate animating and I'm just not good at it as well. I just don't have the patience to do it. And nothing against animation because I love the results of animation and it looks always fantastic, but it's, it's just not for me. It's too time consuming. <laughs> so Mixamo is a website from Adobe where you can upload your 3D characters or download one of theirs and automatically rig them. 
So that means creating a skeleton for your model, which you can animate afterwards. And your object or your 3D character is going to stick to that skeleton. So normally a pretty tedious job, but now it became automatic. Obviously, this is just for rough kind of rigs. You cannot really rig the fingers and all the skin and the muscles. So that's for advanced animation and that's, yeah. So an Iron Man is perfect for this. You can also browse the pre-made animations in the library, but for my use this case I didn't need that. Okay, so once I have rigged my Iron Man, I export it again and I import it in Cinema 4D. Before we start using Iron Man, I'm going to take that shoe from my original Iron Man suit. This I want to put in the exact same position as my Nike shoe, so here I want to transform my shoe, turning into the Iron Man boot. To do that, it's actually really simple. Basically, I use the technique from the tutorial. You will need to have your shoe in a fracture object in Cinema 4D, this splits your object in all the 3D layers it's built from. On that fracture object you want to add a plane effector that scales all these different parts of my shoe to zero. And then over a linear field that I can animate so it looks like it's fading away from the front to back or from the back to front, however you like it. So my scale goes from one to zero using a plane effector. Now for the Iron Man boot I just have to do the exact same but opposite and I'm basically done. If you do this at the same time, it will look like one shoe goes away while the other comes up and it seems like a transform effect because it goes so fast. I also added a delay effector to get a spring animation in there just to give it a little bit more life. Then I animated the position of the shoe to where my foot was and voila! <laughs> Alright, so for the last part, I had to animate Iron Man's suit up effect and getting him into position to take off. So I placed my Iron Man in the same spot as I'm standing. I also added a floor plane to match my camera angle and so on. And then I also put my Iron Man into that fracture object just like the shoe. Basically the same workflow here. But instead of going from left to right, I just made the linear field go from bottom to top with a plane effector and it's really as simple as that. Maybe I'll do a more advanced suit up tutorial in the future, uh, but we'll see where we get. Once the suit up happened I animated my Iron Man a bit over time so it looks like he is putting his hands next to his body in order to take off and then I animated him moving up also directing his face to the sky so it looks a little bit more realistic. Alright so now we have the animation but we don't have the awesome smoke yet. I actually did the smoke takeoff using Turbulence FD. That's a plugin for Cinema 4D that allows you to do fluid simulations such as fire and smoke. I placed a simple sphere in his hands and feet and made these emitters with a lot of force going downwards. I then made the plane that stands for the floor as a collision object and that will deflect my smoke so it looks like it's interacting with the floor. I tweaked a lot of settings, I can't really go into much detail for this because there's just a lot of playing back and forth but just look at a dedicated Turbulence FD tutorial. I actually saved the first animation in a Cinema 4D file and for the Turbulence I started a new project so I rendered these two out separately and then I'll just combine them in Adobe After Effects later. All right, so once I have my animation here done, to export, I always use multi-passes. This allows me most control in After Effects. And oh God, do I love the bloom effect in Octane. It, it immediately does what my glow should be doing. It looks so sexy. In After Effects, I did a lot of comping with getting my shadows to work. Basically, you could still see me behind the Iron Man suit that was placed on top of myself. So what I've done here is I just animated some mask, keying myself out as a suit was growing. So a little bit of a dirty masking technique, but it works. That way you can't see me standing behind it anymore and it looks like I'm actually in the suit. Then finally, I placed the smoke behind my suit. Now for what I always do at the end of a project is to crepitize my 3D footage. 3D footage is always too sharp, too perfect and too beautiful and it doesn't look realistic, it doesn't look like it's belonging in your video that you have captured. So you have to make sure that your colors match your scene, the lighting match your scene and also add some blur into the edges of your 3D model with an alpha blur. A good reference for this shot was actually looking at the grass and seeing how sharp the grass was and then try to replicate that on the edges of my Iron Man suit. I also added noise, I desaturated it and so on and so on. Maybe you can add in some chromatic aberration to get some little lens errors in there and it makes it look like it's actually blending in your shot. And then finally with some epic sound effects you get this effect. All 
Alright, so that's it for this video. I'm so glad you made it until here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when I upload new videos. Also, be sure to check out my other videos. I'll link one up here so you can continue your next level editing journey. And until then, create epic videos. To infinity and beyond!